If you need to remove the cam chain tensioner for any reason, and also when reinstalling the camshafts in the engine, wedge something behind the rear cam chain guide once you have the cam timing properly set, just for a little insurance against the cam chain jumping teeth on the sprockets before you get the tensioner installed. A small piece of hard rubber or a short section of reinforced fuel hose about 16 millimeters in diameter will work. As with all types of cam chain tensioners, the half nut type must be retracted and locked in place when installing the tensioner in an engine. Insert a modified 3 millimeter hex wrench into the tensioner body. The wrench will stop when it contacts the half nuts. If you push in very slightly on the tensioner shaft, it will relieve the tension on the half nuts and allow the wrench to go in further between the half nuts. The wrench will toggle the half nuts away from the tensioner grooves, which will allow the shaft to be retracted. While pressing in and keeping pressure on the tensioner shaft with your hand, turn the hex wrench counterclockwise until it stops. This will lock the shaft in the fully retracted position. Do not remove the hex wrench yet. Install a new gasket and make sure the point on the gasket is positioned inward. Install the tensioner into the engine. There is no up or down, but it should be installed with the S1 marked down for appearance and torque the retaining screws to 7.2 foot-pounds. Now turn the wrench clockwise until the tensioner shaft contacts the rear cam chain guide. A flat blade screwdriver can be used to help turn the wrench. You'll know when the shaft contacts the rear chain guide because the effort needed to turn the wrench will drop to almost zero. Now keep turning the wrench with light finger pressure until it stops. Then turn the wrench one quarter turn further. The hex wrench can now be pulled out of the tensioner. Place a few drops of engine oil into the tensioner and install the stopper bolt with a new gasket and torque to 5.1 foot-pounds. Be sure to remove your wedge when the cam chain tensioner is installed and install the right side cover. Here's a couple of service tips. Remove as much of the dried thread locking agent as possible before reinstalling the tensioner screws. This will make installing the screws much easier and reduce the chance of damaging the threads in the cylinder. If you shorten the long end of a 3 mm hex wrench to 38.5 mm, and the short end to 8.9 millimeters, it will make installing and setting the tensioner into the engine much easier.